Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Katka Naya and you're watching Synchro Shakti. Today we have a very special guest with us. This is Arvind Padmaraju, also known as Super Dad Buddha from our courses. He was in HeliFest. Uh, he has done uh, a lot of money energy work with us, a lot of it. And today we're going to uh, firstly say hello. Hi Arvind, lovely to have you here. <laughs> Hi, hi, Kartika. Um, it, it's glad to be part of this interview. And this is again one of the manifestations. Yeah. And um, it came at uh, <laughs> quicker than what I believed. So, yeah. yeah. Quicker yeah. than what I Great. believed. That's the whole crux. Yeah. The whole point yes. of today's interview is to show you guys that money is a byproduct of your energy. And it can be quick, it can be sudden, it can be easy, it can be effortless. Uh, there is inspired action, but then there's this huge turn of grace that can come into your life. And that's what we're looking at, not the struggle, but the ease part of uh, bringing in money. So uh, Arvind, uh, I just want you to give a brief introduction of what you do to mm. our audience, and then we'll get started on your story. Yeah. Uh, thank you once again, uh, Katika, for uh, maybe uh, uh, interviewing or being part of this uh, interview. It's a great uh, pleasure to share my own story and uh, may this inspire many people who are going through a similar journey of me. So my name is Arvind Padmaraju. I come from a small village in uh, Andhra Pradesh called BP Rajapalli, which is in Ethiopia. And I'm currently living in Dubai, working as IT professional. And also I'm aspiring uh, fitness and lifestyle coach. And that's how I uh, got to know you and uh, I did a lot of uh, work. And um, coming back to little background is last, uh, I have overall 20 plus years of IT experience. And I've been coaching uh, people from last one and a half to two years, um, helping them to get into the better shape and how they can make fitness as a lifestyle and how they can improve overall their um, health and fitness. So that is what a uh, little background and I'm married and I have uh, two kids and that's, um, that's blessed with uh, my parents. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So I want you to tell the audience about your money reality when you were a child, what kind, where you were born, what kind of family you were born in, how was the money situation there? Yeah, so uh, I have born uh, from a, a village uh, from uh, my dad is a agriculturist and um, I came up uh, with very, um, I think uh, my dad struggled even uh, for our education. My whole childhood, even I used to do a farming, I think um, from, I remember from the age three, I used to go to farming till the 10th. I studied all my education in a village and a government school. And throughout my childhood, the one thing um, which I uh, was always aspiring is money is difficult. There are a lot of self-beliefs has been inculcated. Um, money is too hard to get in. And I struggled a lot. And all the time, I, 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 I remember yeah, I did not even have a chapel to uh, slippers to wear until my fifth or sixth class. I used to walk barefoot. And um, I still remember uh, whatever my dad can do. So he was, you know, the one good thing he did is he gave a basic education. And um, that that actually somehow created some kind of a fire in me that, you know, I wanted to really grow, uh, learn and grow in this career and, you know, make uh, proud that, you know, my parents to live whatever. I, I still remember some of the childhood incidents when we did the uh, healing work. I never understood that they came from my inner child. I still remember um, one of the incidents where I got selected for um, a district kabaddi competitions and my dad, my fam my mom, dad did not have a 500 rupees because of the financial. And I, I remember those incidents and I all the time I used to wear all my cousin clothes because of so-and-so reasons. And uh, yeah, but but one thing what is um, my dad is also given is, you know, doing a hard work and being consistently being in a positive state of mind that has helped me. And um, even though um, I had a lot of struggles, I was I was um, um, I broken some of the records even in my government school. I was the first person to cross by, uh, 450 marks that time in, back in uh, 2003 and and I had a good teachers who taught me what is important, what is that uh, value. And I come from a Telugu medium school. So whatever I'm speaking today, it is it is all happened because of that, having that right mindset and always aspire to, you know, uh, keep focusing on uh, growth. 
Mm-hmm. And that's a little bit about my childhood. And yeah, I my uh, my somehow I feel uh, during my childhood why I have to go through cultivation and all all of them. I think I also shared with you previously. We used to have a lily flowers every single day. I used to get up in the morning first one one and a half hour. We have to go to the farming and cut that uh, lily flowers and get come home, pack them and send that. That was my our family's major income source. And um, I did that from third standard to till 10th standard. And um, I I always um, I struggled during this time. And I whenever there are some similar age of kids, they ha- they can sleep late. Yeah. They can get up late. And especially uh, in holidays, summer holidays, when my cousins and everyone comes in, I used to feel why I, why I have to go through all this, why they have that kind of a lifestyle. But when I look back and see right now, that is what has made me who I am uh, currently. I was able to uh, take care of more challenges and how to handle them. And if I look back, every single thing, as you say that, right, the journey has to be uh, uh, traveled. You cannot escape. You cannot run away from it. And you will not find the answers um, at that moment. But when you look back, yeah. yeah, yeah, when you really understand why you've gone through and why um universe put you into that state of mind to learn something to make a better version of yourself right so thank you for yeah. sharing that so you so to kind of give a synopsis you come from a background where uh your your family were lily farmers yeah. and you had to wake up early in the morning while other kids uh, cousins and all who came from a better of families they could see yeah. your whole thing was i had to wake up uh, you know cut the lily flowers and then pack it and then you'd send it off and that was your daily routine and it, yeah. that of course gave you discipline but at the same time you had a lot of inner resistance of why I have to do all of these things yeah. why my family and you had the goal dream of uh, going I mean you you got into the kabaddi finals uh, yeah. you could have gone and and played to your heart's extent and this was a district level right yeah could have done district level, but your parents didn't have 500 rupees to give you. And it broke your heart. I remember when we were doing inner child healing on this, yeah. how much that child was crying and crying. And for days, right? He was crying yeah. for days just because the dream to be at the Kabaddi uh, game was so strong. But your parents yeah. didn't have 500 rupees. You didn't have chappals. I mean, you're talking about somebody who comes from that kind of background where your father couldn't afford to even take you to the city to have an education. You were in Telugu medium in yeah. in the village, uh, in a village near Tirupati. So I'm trying yeah. to show the audience where you came from and the money beliefs that you built so strongly yeah. up until now what you're in your 30s, right? Yeah. In your 30s, you we were sitting and breaking these belief systems that were learned uh, you know, at that time. So now tell me, after you came out of, uh, you did college, you, um, did you do college in uh, in the yes. city or you did it in the village? I um, I did my diploma in electronics, uh, three mm-hmm. years of diploma, basically um, um, in uh, polytechnic that is from Telugu medium to English medium, quick switch. Okay, in three years I have to vote? understand. How did you, how did you pay for that? Did your parents pay? Did you pay? How did that happen? Yeah, so my parents actually borrowed money to my education. So I opted for a college, which is I got a kind of a seat where um, my overall expenditure for that that time it was around two lakhs. My dad has to uh, borrow that money, and um, both of my education, my dad has to borrow it because agriculture is not a stable income. So there will be always ups and downs, and uh, there is not significant income. But uh, glad that my dad took that decision to, you know, uh, even uh, borrow the money and, uh, and put you through. Yeah, put okay. you through. If that education was not there, maybe I should have not here. Right. <laughs> so that 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 basic stuff, and also um, during this process, that is where you know you feel uh, more or less after I attended your course, we feel that you know if you are borrowing money, it is something like you know it's bad or it's kind of evil, it's kind of a negative. I also broken that kind of a mentality is money is all about energy. That is what I understood. And after that, I think more than like 20 years, I have been gone, going through some of the repeated kind of uh, patterns yeah, in my life. That. Let's look at that. So yeah. 20 years, yeah. you went through repeated patterns of financial struggle. 20 years, financial yeah. struggles of uh, repeated patterns of financial struggles based on the belief systems that you picked up uh, from yeah. the life that we have lived on, on the earth. The, at that time so now uh, tell us some of the major struggles that you had uh, financially 
Yeah. So one of the struggle was um, the first after I completed my diploma, I wanted to do engineering. I wanted to become a pilot, uh, like um, air, air, aeronautical engineer. That was my dream when I was uh, my childhood. And uh, my dad could not uh, afford because by the time I came out of a college, the de debt was uh, piling up because of he bought it from the interest and other stuff. And by the time uh, then I had to forcefully start working. So yeah. I, I still remember um, my uh, the, my first salary was 400 rupees. I worked for 30 days for 400 rupees. That was my first salary. And um, But one only one thing what I uh, uh, kept myself is I was always open for the challenges. And that's how I grew from childhood. That helped me to grow. And um, within a year, I got everything, whatever today I am, it is all my own self uh, effort and everything I've uh, explored where people said that, you know, it is not possible where I went and explored and showed that, you know, what is humanly possible. Yeah. Over a period of a time, then I got into a good job and my salary went from 400 to 2000 and it has grown. Uh, my salary was growing, but one of the major points, so currently it's up about 8 lakhs plus is what I earn. More than that, with all <laughs> multiple from sources energy, of income. I have, to, I have to plug from money, energy work, okay? Yes. <laughs> 8 lakhs and not because he did 10 jobs. It's because he did one job and, yeah. and a side uh, side hustle. I'll tell you the yeah. results, guys, soon. Uh, but um, 8 lakhs is just from... Uh, that money energy stuff which you will get to soon but yes go ahead yeah yeah so over a period of a time what I was uh, saying is I always wanted to earn money and invest money and I keep doing same kind of a repeated I, I remember um, uh, back in 2008 uh, when my by the time we started earning some decent amount to uh, um, clear back my debt um, we cleared around 40 lakhs in 2008 so I had that much of debt because of multiple interest our interest or interest because of so that my debt dad that was built by your father fell on your shoulders and so yes. most of your life you were paying back your father's debt yes did you have resentment and, and upset and all that during that time that instead of you kind of building your own wealth and enjoying your wealth you had to pay back that debt that your father built yeah, so we had a strong assistant because uh, myself and my brother both together cleared the debt. But one thing was very uh, clear was I was not knowing that energy. If I really known that energy, I should have been in a different state. I always used to resist. Why do I need to go through? I might be struggling and uh, half of my salary used to go for the loans and all of that. The moment I have uh, cleared all my debt, my marriage came into the picture where again, it's a big debt again because to fulfill and I got married to my wife and um, after a lot of struggle I got married and even that money struggle continued even though I my, my uh, income is growing exponentially but the state of the life is almost similar to what I had in childhood mm -hmm. like you know I always go with the, either because of uh, the loans and paying the EMIs I always used to have that neck to neck when I never used to see the uh, good amount of money. I always feel that, you know, money doesn't come to me, whatever comes, it goes in some other way. All this thought process was there. And um, then uh, after that period, um, I recovered again from my marriage within two to uh, three years, I recovered uh, all the money has been cleared, all the debts. And um, the biggest incident, um, even during that time, I used to do a lot of training and other stuff to clear off all my loan. I cleared off all my loan. I bought a house. At the time, you were working to clear loan. It was like yeah. that was the mentality. I'm going to work yeah. on money to pay off debt. It was yeah. not even yeah. to live life. It was to pay off debt. It was that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then I bought a car and all of them. It came because to I wanted to enjoy the life and all of them. And then got and finally. Yeah, debt again. And I bought a house just because all of the people said that owning a house is most important. There's a common thing which uh, people say. But one thing was sure, uh, sure that me and my wife wanted to live in our own house that is fulfilled. And um, over six, uh, six or seven months of a time, and um, uh, I married before my brother, uh, so and so reasons. And uh, we planned for our kids and all of them started. And um, there's an incident happened. Uh, my my wife met with a train accident in 2013 and uh, I lost her and that that was the biggest tra uh, tragedy in my life and even that scenario because of after I doing the 
the in a, uh, the energy work i understood that every time there is a bump comes in i used to always restrict myself to uh, clear off the debts rather than living the life at that moment and you know put postpone everything mm -hmm. and that moment actually uh, shattered me that you know what i have done i have done everything good my intentions were right i was i was able to uh, you know uh, do come out of everything all my money challenges and at the time of when i actually have to enjoy i lost my wife so that put me into again anger kind of energy that you know I just and i went on uh, on a point this yeah. is before money energy work uh, that you've done yeah. uh, yeah. i just want to point out here of from your what i remember of your story is that uh, you you had this major regret when you first came to me we, our first yeah. sessions together was working on that very first session working on that regret because you actually were not on the train with your wife mm. you were somewhere yeah. else uh, you had gone somewhere else to do a training so that you would earn money because it was a survival yeah. state for you to earn money even though you had cleared your debt your mindset was still in survival so you went mm. to get money and then you came um, i don't know if you you were just parking your car to pick her mm. up and then she was getting off on the platform and it was a freak accident no it's actually uh, i was traveling back from bangalore to my village and my mm -hmm. dad supposed to go and pick her, pick her mm -hmm. and uh, she i called her and she she said that she's going to call me in 5 minutes and then instead of she calling my dad calls and see he said that actually both were going for a marriage and he said don't go for a marriage come directly home then when i asked what happened what happened um, they did not tell me because where i get upset and they told me that she is no more she met with accident and during that phase of uh, I, i had to travel almost like 2 hours i, I still can uh, i remember the amount of regret amount of pain i started blaming myself that it, because of me she passed away if i was with her it should have not happened i lived in that day regret almost like 8 to 9 years until and unless i i came and did the first healing work and you told me that you know death and birth and death is not in anyone's hand it can happen in any moment and any situation and i used to be in that regret and that energy and even whatever is happening i used to keep blaming so because of money you went behind the money you lost yeah. something that kind of a relation yeah. it was again comes from my childhood so so that and, you um, see there's so yeah. to money blocks there is like the the childhood stuff the regret the resentment the blame there is so many things happening inside each of our boats by the way just a little plug uh on on uh, sunday 25th um if you're watching this after sunday there is still you can still check out in the description uh we have a class called mastery of money energy we're talking about money energy you need to learn who are these guys inside of you all of this other negative beliefs of arvind was talking about that is blocking money and creating that same repeated patterns get to know who these people are do you believe it is valuable for you to know what is going on inside of your head that is blocking the flow because then you can flip it the solution is right in the problem you can flip it if you guys are interested please register in the description for that class because it will give you that clear and idea plus i'm going to teach you my code of what i use what arvind used to reach financial freedom we're going to go into his results soon and uh, you'll also learn a lot of cool stuff there so come for that uh, class if you're ready for financial blessings from ease grace all the good stuff come register for that class and i'll see you there very excited for the class i'm working on my ppt right now and it's like i'm not eating i'm not sleeping nothing i'm just so excited because the the content of the ppt is just phenomenal for everybody so come register below so yes yeah, so you had that regret and when you came you came for a, a one to one and then we started breaking that regret and then what happened yeah. yeah so that that journey has uh, continued and then i i moved on with my life i got married and i have a beautiful wife and i have um, two kids and even then uh, the whole process and again 2007 um, i have been over uh, exaggerated because i i was not respecting money because of all these things happened god is like this i started used to blaming outside world and there you know i used to spend like anything and all of them and then i got married and then i wanted to retire faster and then i i i made a lot of um, a quick fix kind of a, you know the stock market and in again in 2017 i lost uh, almost like 27 lakhs um, i trusted one of my friend and i lost around 27 lakhs so i went into a deep again of yeah, again going yeah. deep into debt hmm. yeah so in uh, 2017 i went into a deep depression and um, i could not uh, i was not i did not share even that till today that 
all these things to anyone even my wife doesn't know the, all of that mm -hmm. so i have went through everything in my own that's how i introduced to mindfulness i used to do some kind of a meditation but i never had that connection mind body connection until and unless uh, i came to the synchro sakti academy and understood what is a gist of mindfulness what exactly you have that inner potential you know everything is within you as you always keep saying so you create your own world so that i understood after so many years but that particular moment i used to feel like you know devastated what is happening again and again that pattern then that again continued and back in uh, fast forward that in 2021 i started my own a uh, uh, brand called hafit i focus on building habits to build fitness and during that time i invested heavily and um, i had a team and all of the challenges again happened and again one more pattern happened uh, stock market investment and again i lost a huge amount of 1.4 cr as uh, so that is the next one and um, also in my business i was not doing at all good and um, every month i had a over, over burden of um, paying the salaries to the team and all of them so that's when um, i introduced to siddharth and through siddharth i saw your interview and i think if you see the whole journey i think it is it is a journey for me to if i look back all the dots i got into the right path maybe if all these challenges was not happened i would have never met you everything everything happens for <laughs> yeah everything happens for a reason and i think the back in um, october uh, where um, i i saw your interview with where you made uh, i think 10k usd a month mm. with him because Very i was cool. being in the coach <laughs> yeah <laughs> several <laughs> so it's not like that anymore so, yeah Yeah. yeah it's a much so better then, the point yes it's a bit embarrassing like oh you make only ten thousand dollars per month like now no, i think now you make ten thousand a day maybe <laughs> and you know, depends on what i'm doing if i'm doing a launch or something but um no you learn about guys if you want to know my financial story i don't know how much i've shared on youtube i see youtube is like a bait okay youtube is totally a bait the actual stuff the actual work happens behind the scenes when you come into our classes and course i mean you don't have to come for my courses i come for my classes they're free that's how you learn the actual stories you know the real yeah. dirt and you get all that out there uh, and then you learn from the stuff that we've gone through so if you guys want to know my story i'll be sharing it in on sunday on uh, on the live class called master your money energy you can find it in the description come you learn my story as well yeah go ahead yeah so then in october i came to your youtube channel and i have gone through i have actually used some of your techniques to start healing and i still remember um, hope on upono I, i used to do even before uh, healy fest and i even i did some of the energy work uh, previously then i started seeing uh, the results basically the one thing which i got connected was the mindfulness i did practiced so many mentors but i did not had that kind of alignment that kind of um, inner um, uh, what i can say the mind body connection i never had and that actually when i started implementing and i think i i attended the same like what you are doing a webinar i think you are doing that breaking the past patterns and building a new patterns the webinar was happening and um, i did not think three about day, anything three day event three day yeah like yeah three day event and that's how i got introduced to pain body work when i did a couple of pain bodies in the first in even after i started seeing releasing those patterns i i was having more aware what was happening and there is one sentence which actually um, stuck in my mind don't shoot the messenger listen the message so that is actually uh, blew my mind that you know everything i was creating i was creating my own uh, reality that was the biggest learning from uh, me and the same same webinar you uh, launched healy fest and i did not had any second thought to uh, purchase the night directly pressure was really blowing and you were like yes yeah <laughs> the moment i said healy fest like the pinpoint went and the pressure came and i said yeah because i remember i yes, have this is... i should put i should um probably edit this and put the um the message i remember on telegram you sent mm. me a message i never heard about you i don't know you you sent me a message uh, i just joined healy fest i think you joined at uh, diamond member right so yeah i just directly upgraded to diamond, diamond member so one one only thing i also recommend people is directly jump on to the one to one coaching because that energy i i just wanted to have a talk with you because i felt a lot of energy connection and alignment and um, i know that you know that energy can pull me out of the situation what i'm going through i did not think about anything and um, i went it i went on to uh, a diamond and the first one month has been remarkable 
uh, remarkable journey i i could see that every single day i used to uh, share arigato money yeah every and, day, um, every day think, it was like yeah. voice notes oh i manifested this i manifested this i manifested this it was every day i would get like messages from him um, because of the energy work we were doing in heli fast in in that first yeah. you know, of the 111 days and and the whole thing is um the whole program the heli fest is one of the best thing which happened to me and still some of the things and also when i did the first um uh, the interview with you and you told me that i do a lot of things you don't need to be you know i used to put a lot of conditions that you know if you do this 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 then only that was a, one of the biggest pattern has been broken i take right now the life as it goes and i always trust on the universe and things happen you always have you don't need to be that much harsh on yourself to you know to yeah. get succeeded success comes with ease when you are in that state of vibration and energy that i understood and uh, yeah from then from that time it has been a remarkable journey in my personal career professional career and i still remember the biggest um, pain bodies with my healing with my colleagues healing with my money and yeah so i, I think there's Basically, so much there's of a lot of healing work but it's not yeah. that hard it's just you have to show up and do it that's it it's not like yeah, the exactly. most huge thing it's not hard at all it's just that you have to show up and just notice what's going on yeah but um, yeah. let's look at the the results so i know you've done uh, money energy work uh, you worked on your belief system i remember one time i was just walking up the staircase going from in bangalore i was going from my office to like my bedroom and i heard your voice note and you were saying something like oh, you know as entrepreneurs you know our income can go up and down and i said who says who says your income as yeah. entrepreneurs has to go up and down why can't it go up 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 who says where's the yes. condition written in the universe so that broke that one pattern for you after that it was like going up 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 up, up. so uh, yeah. let's look at your results here after your money energy work uh, that you did with us in helifest uh, what are the biggest financial because i know in in the group every every almost every day there was one success story i yeah. booked 1600 us dollars profit in my trading yeah. did this so i know that every day there was success financially and of course you're known as the king of timelessness because you would manifest yeah. like manta rays coming to you and then one manta ray will come then you'll use timelessness and then one full family of manta ray will come yeah you used to really like, actually yeah you, you used to freak us out in the course like every day is some magical thing oh i saw tesla i manifest you manifested a car yeah uh, so many things i mean when i say so many you had in that let's say heli fest was 111 days in that 111 days you had 111 gigantic manifestation yeah constantly happening uh, to you so let's look at the the money uh, shifts what has been the result and what money learning that you took from hmm. us affected that financial result for you yeah so uh, the first and foremost thing um, i i saw one of uh, your youtube video about dancing for the money song mm -hmm. the moment i started and the second uh, some of the practices was timelessness was uh, another uh, even today even today um, the challenges what i have gone through and uh, there was a money stuck and instantly the moment i followed the you know, timelessness i get the proof and i get the money back and it was it was like it's something like everything is in your hand you believe it you uh, you would trust it you surrender it everything you will find the ways to find it mm -hmm. and the main thing what i uh, understood with my own journey to get this kind of a result there are a couple of practices which i did the stuck energy you need to release it to create the new energy into your body that is most and the second beauty of your overall course is doing it live that is one of the biggest thing so most of the courses which you see here there will be online there is no hand holding there is no personalization and all of them but one thing what i really really even though it's a boring stuff that's where the miracle happens you know that the people uh, um, even run away from doing the the work and you are you keep saying in every single uh, day saying that you know try to find out answers answers are within you don't try to ask any coach we always think that coach can come and do a miracles but you just need to follow the way you structure there is a miracle and coach inside yeah. each of us yeah yeah 
So I just blindly followed. You said, um, I, I still remember one day you said that. No, I, I I told even in the uh, one of the the interview which we had as part of the Healy Fest. If you ask me to stand with a single leg, I do it. I will not question whatever. I just blindly followed all these practices, and some of the biggest releases which I will uh, talk about is um, um i had uh, my i bought a property in dubai okay so after it's been like uh, almost like 18 months the tenant was not vacating and this was my longest manifestation journey i started from uh, back in november i think we did one of the healing work as well but you said you said one beautiful thing is that don't expect money only from that source. Be open for all other sources. Money keep flowing to you. So that is one of the biggest thing. I always, whenever, for example, a friend has to return a money, I always used to hate him. I used to follow him. I used to condemn him. But then I started saying that, okay, money can come from any, any place and anywhere. I started seeing other areas of my life was growing. And even um, I still remember on one single day, the trading profit was um, around $2,500. And wow, one single day and, I remember, and my I had just asked uh, right before sitting for this interview I asked my team I said I'm not in the Hilly Fest uh, telegram group because we finished the course I uh, I always step out of the telegram groups after we finish the course uh, uh, and uh, I asked my team I said can you just give me some of Arvind's like uh, success story I can like put it in the in the interview and I was going through them and it was like $1,000 here and my YouTube got monetized and I, you know, the next $2,000 here. And it was, all, we have another student from 90 Day Abundance, Samara. She is also like this, like every day, $2,000, this $1, uh, Hannah, $100,000 in two months. So we have a lot of money yeah. raining on our students who do energy work. And I was just looking at that, that $1,000, $1,600 on one day, like a trading yeah. profit. And now you're telling me it was 2000. I haven't, I couldn't read because there were hundreds of your success stories. I was literally like, how, how do I go through all of these? I don't have that much time and space. No. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I remember uh, the Healy Fest was the best moment. Every single day that I save money, the money keeps flowing to me. And I, um, especially in the trading, um, uh, I have uh, two of my uh, uh, partners who manages both the accounts. And uh, we have made a profit in only in uh, Forex uh, trading, which he is doing is almost like $15,000 from that time till today. Okay, wow. that was that a profit he made. October to now. Yeah, October to now. And my Indian stock market, I, I also told that uh, we used to manage a fund of one crore. Now we are currently managing a fund of three crores. And uh, only my own investment of 30 lakhs has grew 10 lakhs from the time. I not even... Um, um, I'm not even calculating November to December from January till today it has grown to 10 lakhs and it is all about energy work and I also coach him about energy work whatever I'm learning and he started seeing immense result he found three systems by just following the guidance whatever I learned from Healy Fest and just passed on to him so that is what uh, the energy work can do it yeah so let's see so from trading alone there is like you know Ten, so let's say thirty, forty thousand dollars from trading alone. Since you joined yeah. HealyFest, I'm not selling HealyFest. Yeah. I'm just saying it's a course where we did energy work for you guys to study energy work. What these guys learned, I'm teaching it for free on Sunday. Okay, come register in the description. Come study it. It's for you. Come take it and use it. You know the the dream is alive if you only learn how to implement it, how to get it. That's it. It's just a bridge of yeah. knowledge. So, uh, so from trading alone. Uh, I have stats from you, what you had shared with your uh, side hustle, your um, yeah. your, your coaching, your coaching business coaching yeah. in that time. And that time, how much was your uh, profit totally since we started? So from the time we started uh, October to till today, uh, so far I made 11 lakhs as a total uh, the I'm revenue what side, I made. Side yeah. hustle. Away. Side hustle and uh, me doing um, my full-time job of 11, 11 and a half hours full-time job. So let me and pause there. Doing... I have to stop. Yeah. I know I'm cutting you off, but I have to get <laughs> people to understand. He's 11 lakhs from a side hustle when he's spending 11 hours of his day. And he's a father of two children. Okay, and he has a wife who he has to give time and energy to also, right? Because he's, he's in a family, uh, he's a family man. And still, despite having a full-time job, family, side hustle, 11 lakhs, is it that it was just hard work or was it energy? 
So I, I used to, even if I say before Healy Fest, I always used to say hard work. Uh, but right now, what I say is uh, it's purely energy. What you vibrate, what you get, and what you strongly believe, uh, what you heal from existing until and unless. What I understood in three simple steps is heal, be in that uh, energy, be with the people who are with that energy. That's the only way you're going to grow nice. and exponentially. Uh, from that time uh, till today, not only that, there are a lot of other success stories as I recently uh, told you that there is a stuck energy on my uh, the property. I did so much of uh, open up on, on that. See, some of the energy will release faster. Some of the energy will take time, but it's all about patience, having the trust and surrendering to the universe mm -hmm. is is one of the main best thing. And I, I got some of the manifestations happen in fraction of seconds. Some of them took six months, but it is it is worth to go through that journey, right? To do that healing work. And um, I, I think uh, today only I was sharing with one of the, my biggest success story was uh, the tenant was not vacating in my property. I was not earning any kind of income. Uh, there was a, almost like 40 lakhs is stuck in that one single property. It was finally released. And one of the beauty happened is the property, the rental grown 40%. Even if I was given my house rental three months back, I should have been in a loss. Yeah. So sometimes we believe that why the delay is happening, but every delay is a blessing as you uh, as you say. And right now my property is going 40K AD more than what it's supposed to be in uh, four months back. But when I actually, this was one of the longest um, the stock money energy, which I worked on, did multiples of pain body understanding and all of them. But um, yeah, so being in patience, being in that energy. Phenomenal. I just want to pause here, yeah. guys. I'm Because the I want this interview to go out today itself. Uh, for those of you who want to have screenshots of like proof of all of Arvind's constant money flow. It's not, it's not like Arvind is the one student of our academy yeah. who has this reign of money. It's not that this is, this happens to hundreds of our students he's just one of the hundreds of case studies that happen in fact you've probably studied some of our students case studies before you came trusted yeah. us in, in the work and yeah. practiced it that's why you have blind faith you don't just have blind faith because you saw me and said that's interview you had blind faith because you saw a story you saw put a pathway yeah. a code right the code is what i'm going to teach you in the live class so what I, i'm not going to add the the screenshots of arvin's story here in this interview uh, but if you want to get a closer insight into the screenshots, I will put them in the in the webinar. So in the live class, it's not actually a webinar, it's a live class. Come uh, yeah. on uh, in the description, you will find the link, register for it. It's called Master Your Money Energy. Uh, you're going to learn the whole code that this whole beautiful stuff Arvind has talked about. We put it in a simple code. It's not a formula, it's a code. You just plug it into your life. You're going to see what are the stuff, what are the things happening in your mind that is blocking the money. Don't you think that's important information to know? You're going to learn for you specifically, the person who's watching me, your particular mind, you're going to figure out what's happening in your mind live in class. And we're going to flip that. Uh, we're going to create solutions live in class. If that is for you, come register in the description. And again, our job here is to serve. And those who connect with that yeah. service will come and you will get results. So you will probably be our next interview, our next success story. So come register and uh, you will see i'll put your your uh, your story and your uh, you have to send me some of your photos and all of that yeah. i will yeah. put that in our ppt so you guys can get a more detailed realistic picture of arvin's story so uh, we will wrap it up at that what is your final yeah. piece of advice financial advice to someone who's stuck in a repeated financial pattern so one thing is uh, our trust in this course. I think this is going to be the lifetime, one-time uh, investment, what you can do and what actually um, um, Kartika or the Singapore Shakti Academy is charging is a peanuts of what is the, the next 20, 30 years, what you're going to manifest uh, everything. And what is most important is we always find answers outside. Every answer is within you. So, and you have a structured live coaching method which i i never saw anywhere else in the market or anywhere else in the world it is properly structured where if you go to any other course what you see is bits and pieces it, it doesn't relate to your real lifestyle right so you got some of your old patterns which happened it got stuck into your body you need to release them to get a new energy comes in and then start working on uh, manifestation and money energy and then 
be with that energy and especially um, doing it uh, the group i always saw the immense uh, you know the energy or the the synchronicity what i felt and i still remember i think i i shared more than 200 or 300 i used to feel that every single day i used to share six to seven stories and people used to uh, privately you know message me and the only one thing what was a difference where people who are getting a result are not getting a result is doing the work yeah so you have to exactly. trust believe and just follow the path what is being given by um, kartika and i'm i'm sure um, the story is not going to end here and you're going to see me again maybe one more interview mm-hmm. we're going to hit one cr revenue and i'm part of that uh, the abundance course i am loved to see each one of you part yes, of that I have course to, i have to pause yeah. you firstly thank you arvind for that uh, i did not tell him to say all of this <laughs> come in the flow uh, yeah. what i wanted to share with you guys is the the event on sunday is free okay there's no charges or anything you come for that but at the end of every event that we do free event we do give a, a small window for the right students to join us in the academy if you are a right student to join us in the academy you will get a window at the end and you will uh, we will be now we are opening our uh, doors to, actually we already opened we already have a lot of people in but we are publicly opening to uh, a course called the abundance accelerator you have level 1 30 days and level 2 90 days uh, you can there'll be a window but yes that course is uh, our best money producing course ever i don't know about other courses in the market but i i can vouch for my course and the light that it provides in the world so if uh, you end up coming for that program uh, you will get what uh, arvind just spoke about community yes. and um, the yeah. accountability daily mentorship the personalization yeah right so yeah. Uh, so that i think that's a good point to end it with uh, uh, arvind recommends with personal experience to learn money energy work it's just a lack just to bridge the lack of knowledge if you understand energy and you flip your energy it is enough it's not the additional work and additional stress it is energy if you resonate with that come study how to do it and i think that's a good ending point what do you think yeah Okay. that's that's um, yeah so i just wanted to share one last uh, manifestation which happened instantly around the money um i think um, you know that i recently my dad passed away and you know there was some amount uh, he took it and we were not able to find i'm telling you the real story which happened four or five days before and um, I, we were everyone was not able to find out where that money has gone and where he has given and i they practiced whatever the uh, some of the practices timelessness and other ones and exactly within 10 minutes i found the note where he has written that you know where who he has given that money and it was been uh, i can't believe it if what is every single thing you will find when you are aligned with that constant energy and vibration and we found and not only that and there are some of the other money which is given which is we we are not aware the people came and gave the money to us around 5 lakhs is being mm-hmm. saved and given to someone and they gave the money and the money was keep flowing abundantly and my and another challenges like my brother had uh, recently uh, he had to travel back Uh, to the us and you know this visa was not getting stamped it just now he he called me a uh, interview before that he got the stamping done and it it is purely a magic what you have created is a kind of a gold mine i kept saying during the heli fest and i'm i'm sure that um, uh, the learnings what you have been given the teachings what you have been given it's going to be uh, make sure that you know i live abundantly for rest of my life not only in uh, financially but every part of my life and we think that you know only money energy can heal money energy as you mentioned my finances my career my personal life my bonding with my wife kids every single part of things will automatically get aligned because it's the same energy the what you going to use in uh, different uh, angle or different parts of your life yeah. and thank you so much once again uh, uh, fit pari so that's all we call yeah my my <laughs> part of really fast fit pari yeah <laughs> So thank you so much and thank you for uh, giving me opportunity to share my own experience and there's only one thing i want you to say to each and every audience who's watching this just jump on and you have the huge immense potential which is inside you so this course will um, uh, give you a help you to elevate what is possible for you to you know so uh, see that what potential lies within you to you know Uh, trigger or uh, uh, grow into your uh,
part of your life in every part of your uh, different parts of your life mm -hmm. so that's all i can say and thank you once again uh, for giving me this opportunity thank you for it's sharing all of this i think there's a lot of really phenomenal points and you know you have one you have this i'm going to do whatever it takes energy yeah. i will study i will implement i will take it you have that that that's what he said the difference between people who actually get results and the people who don't is that the guys who get results actually put their heart and soul into implementing what they've learned it's that it's that easy but you just have to bridge the knowledge so thank you for sharing that and i'm always uh i like you said you know you've got the foundation for abundance for the rest of your life you came for a short period you learned something but now you yeah. have it for the rest of your life you never have to worry about money ever again like yeah. what a free freedom that is and i'm yeah. so glad you've received that and i'm so happy that uh you get to do this for you and your family so phenomenal more money results to you and to everybody yeah. watching may you all be blessed financially because money is energy it is easy it is effortless it's grace it is not about the struggle that's a, that you can choose that or you can choose the easy way so with that again i will wrap it up if you want to learn the easy way you come for the the class register below if you have any questions you can always ask uh, me or the team for the class and i'll see you there and thank you again arvind super dad buddha more financial blessings to you always i don't yeah. i don't worry about this guy because he's he's taken the teachings to to like to heart to your soul to your dna it is your dna yeah. <laughs> so uh thank you and uh yeah we'll, we will put this up today itself and for those if you want to get the screenshots of his story i'll be sharing them in the live class as well so thank you guys for watching please comment below if it was inspirational for you and uh share this with others who need to hear the story and uh arvind thank you again once again yeah thank you okay <laughs> thank you so much yeah i will end this now See you guys.